Your dog's liver is one of the most important organs in their body and it's incredibly hard working. It literally has hundreds of functions. So it really makes sense that you'd want to help your dog take care of it. So today I'm gonna to share with you my top five tips for keeping your dog's liver happy and healthy. So stay tuned to learn more. Hi there, Lyndall Pynchon, canine naturopath from Canine Vitality, and welcome to my channel, Happy Healthy Dogs, where it's my passion to help you help your dog live a longer, healthier life naturally. Thank you guys for being here again today. If you are new to the channel and you feel moved to, please don't forget to subscribe and to click on the little bell to be notified of all my upcoming videos. So like I said, your dog's liver is truly an amazing organ. This large reddish brown organ consists of six different lobes and it's located sitting in front of your dog's stomach. As I mentioned earlier, it has hundreds of functions in your dog's body, but in general, the liver is responsible for creating bile to help break down fat and aid in digestion. It helps rid the body of waste. It helps your dog to metabolize fat, protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. And it also helps filter out toxins that are found in foods and medications and a whole range of other chemicals. Now your dog's liver is the largest detoxification organ in their body. So from that perspective alone, it deserves to be well looked after to help prevent not only liver disease, but a whole range of other uh, health issues that are linked. Now from a naturopathic perspective, long before any sort of liver disease has actually been diagnosed, your dog's liver will start showing signs and symptoms of stress and lowered function. Now ideally, we wanna make sure that your dog's liver is working well 100% of the time, but even in these early stages of stress, there are many things that we can do to help turn this around and bring your dog's liver back um, to being into balance. So firstly, what are some of those signs that maybe your dog's liver is not showing uh, in tip-top shape? Well, you might see, start to see some intolerances of certain foods and digestive problems. You might notice recurring skin rashes and infections as well as ear problems. Allergies are a big one, arthritis, an increase in cholesterol levels, low or sluggish energy and weight issues. Now, in addition, there can be other immune related problems as toxins are starting to build up in the body. Now, poor sleep and mood changes such, such as irritability can occur, as well as a lack of focus on concentration. Now, these are just some of the signs that maybe your dog's liver is already starting to struggle. Now, at this point, any blood tests or scans that you might have carried out on your dog will for the most part show nothing. But the body is a very forgiving organ and it can take a certain amount of poor health habits before significant disease develops. So let's talk briefly now about the liver's role in detoxification as this is its major function in the body. Now liver detoxification is a two-step process known as phase one and phase two detoxification. Now in the first phase, which is actually known as the activation phase, Fat soluble toxins such as food preservatives and additives, your household cleaning products, medications, pesticides and insecticides and other similar toxins are passed through the liver um, through various chemical reactions. These um, and phase two or detoxification phase is where this happens. They are made more water soluble and this allows them then to be excreted by your dog's kidneys. Now for this whole process to work smoothly, your dog needs good amounts of certain nutrients. Now these nutrients include your B vitamins, vitamins A, C and E, glutathione and amino acids including glutamine, cysteine, glycine, taurine and methionine. Now what happens if there are not enough of these nutrients to help the process occur? Well this can actually stop or block the process midway and lead to a build up of these toxins in your dog's system, which can cause many of those signs I mentioned earlier um, about the liver. So having said all of this, here are my top five tips for keeping your dog's liver healthy. So number one, of course, starts with diet. Of course, we all know that processed foods are not ideal for your dog's liver, as we saw in that detoxification process. These can contribute to a buildup of extra toxins 
that your dog's liver has to deal with. So keeping your dog's diet clean is really essential for liver health. Avoid any processed foods, of course, as, as well as treats and grains too. Always feed human grade free range meats where possible, fish and eggs, as well as a mix of green and orange veggies. Now focus mainly on those green veggies. And some of the important foods to think about uh, by adding into your dog's diet include beetroot, turmeric, fresh or powdered, broccoli, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts, green leafy veggies such as endive, dandelion and rocket, and small amounts of garlic. Now a diet rich in these foods not only helps detox the liver, but also helps provide many of those essential nutrients required for that actual detox process. Number two, now a discussion around liver health would not be complete in my words if we didn't talk about St. Mary's thistle, which is also commonly known as milk thistle herb. It really is one of the best herbs to restore liver cells. Now the liver is an organ that can easily regenerate itself and milk thistle stimulates detoxification and this, um, degener this regeneration as well as balancing the liver really helps the liver to deal with fat better and research has shown that it's effective in treating fatty liver disease. It's really also a potent antioxidant that helps protect the liver from free radical damage and chemicals as well. Now I love to use the fluid extract but powdered uh, milk thistle is also excellent. This is a really safe herb to use when used at correct doses. Now the standard dosage of the milk thistle extract is based on the active ingredient known as psyllimarin and its content being around about 80% of the product. Now most supplements contain anywhere from 50 to 500 milligrams, but your general dose of milk thistle extract would be approximately 70 to 100 milligrams per five kilos of body weight added into the food daily. Now this is not only useful for liver disease, but for generally keeping the liver in tip top shape. Now number three, what about other herbs? Now you all know I love my herbs and I do rely heavily on these for liver support. So using herbs to prevent or treat liver disease is an effective safe treatment. Now while it's not advisable to keep your dog in a blend of liver herbs for the rest of their life, Taking a good liver tonic periodically can really work wonders for keeping the liver healthy. Now, along with milk thistle that I mentioned, herbs such as globe artichoke, dandelion root, turmeric, agrimony, bepleurum, and yellow dock can also help tone the liver and improve overall liver function, aid in detoxification, improve that bile flow, and also repair damaged tissue. Using a liver tonic two to four weeks, one to two times a year is really an excellent way to support your dog's liver. Now, number four is a, su a supplement known as SAM-E. You might remember I mentioned earlier when we talked about the nutrients required for liver detoxification, I mentioned glutathione. Now, this is an antioxidant found in the cells of your dog's body, and it's made up of three main amino acids, glutamine, glycine and cysteine. Now glutathione is vital for the liver. It helps protect those liver cells as well as assists in the important detox process. Now while feeding a diet rich in high quality proteins usually supplies good levels of these three amino acids that make up glutathione, mm. supplementing with SAMe can also help this as it is composed of glutathione which the liver can then utilize. Now in terms of do dose, work on about 18 milligrams per kilo of body weight daily. Now it's believed that SAMe as a supplement alone can actually normalize liver function. So that's a great one. And number five, finally, what discussion around liver health would not be complete if we didn't talk about gut health. Now, I mean, of course the liver is part of your dog's digestive system. So it makes sense that if your dog's gut is out of balance, you've got leaky gut issues or any other gut imbalances, it's gonna place stress on your dog's liver. So any sort of digestive disturbance, we want, to, um, we want to try and work to bring that back into balance. Now supporting gut health, of course, includes feeding a clean diet, avoiding as many chemicals and medications where possible, reducing stress, and adding in supplements like your bone broth, collagen, pre and probiotics, enzymes, and other gut healing nutrients and herbs. These will all help to bring back, um, bring your dog's back uh, gut back into balance and that's also going to have a positive effect on main maintaining um, long-term liver health. So guys, there are my top five for helping to maintain liver health. Now, 
Um, you might want to also check out my um, straight milk thistle tonic as well as my liver tone tonic on my online store. I'll leave those details below for the link. And at the moment, I do have a discount on both of those products till the end of January. I hope you found this information helpful, guys. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And don't forget, if you do have a dog with a liver issue or any health issue and you do need some help or support, please feel free to reach out to me i always leave my contact details below in the description um, i'd love to hear from you and love to hear what's going on for your dog and i am happy to help in any way i can all right guys thank you for being here again i hope you have a wonderful day i will catch up with you again in another video so we will talk soon bye for now